Hello, I'm Jason Fisher and your host today for 15 Minutes in the Forest. Today's topic is wood ducks in the woods. I'm standing out here on a small swamp here in Southside Virginia and I've got a wood duck box with me. We're going to show you a little bit more about that in a bit. The wood duck uh, intrigues a lot of people because it lands in trees and it's especially equipped to do that. It actually nests in hollow trees. So uh, come with me today, you'll see some personal footage that I was able to capture, as well as my good friend Joel Cathy, who was willing to share his video from his farm of a lot of wood ducks that he has gotten to show us today too. So stick with us, and we hope you enjoy Wood Ducks in the Woods. The wood duck, once named Carolina duck, is a medium-sized duck weighing about a pound and approximately 19 inches long. They are cavity nesters and they nest in trees, feed on acorns, insects, and plant life, and they come out ready to explore and are precocial. The wood duck, Aix sponsa, Aix is the Greek word for water bird and sponsa is the Latin word for betrothed. It's said that the plumage on the male is so striking that he appears to be dressed for a wedding. The Audubon Society's Guide to North American Birds is a great resource to use for bird identification. Cornell also has a good resource. This will be shared in resources at the end of this video. The male wood duck is pictured here with its beautiful plumage in the fall. You can also see in this next picture the male and female side by side. Notice the difference in the colors. Female waterfowl and mostly songbirds will carry a drab, gray, or light tan color to help aid in camouflage when they're nesting, as well as when they take the young out to venture. The range of the wood duck includes much of North America. There's some resident wood ducks that stay near home where they're hatched, but many will migrate as do waterfowl. Their nesting grounds include the uplands of Canada, in the plain areas and pothole region, as well as throughout the southeast. The eggs of the wood ducks are light colored and typically you will find anywhere from 9 to 14 eggs in a nest at a time. Sometimes, however, females are unable to find a nest site and so they will lay their eggs in the nest of other females. This is called nest dumping and it can be a problem because only so many eggs can be hatched at one time. Another topic I want to share with you is what makes wood ducks so unique and other duck species as well is that they are born precocial. Precocial means that they are born with feathers and downy hair on them and they're pretty much ready to go and venture out almost right away, literally within 48 hours of hatching. Altricial, however, is just the opposite, and this term means born lacking feathers and pretty much are naked and helpless at birth. This includes songbirds uh, mostly, and it takes them some time, a couple of weeks, before they're ready to go out and explore. The habitat for wood ducks includes rivers and streams as well as beaver ponds. These areas are teeming with wildlife and the views can be spectacular. Now let's take a look at some live footage of wood ducks in the woods.
was a bunch of wood ducks. Just before early season. I hate to spook them, but here goes. And here's a wood duck habitat tip for you. Mass producing trees like oaks often can get cut down by beavers and so they need protection. The protection is temporary however as the trees get larger this wiring will need to be removed. Another fun habitat tip to get your family and friends out in the woods with the wood ducks include building a nesting box. Here's a few tips to help you with your nesting box if you choose to make one. The entry hole is key. The size of the hole determines what goes in the box. The entry hole for a wood duck box is typically an oval shape, about four and a half inches wide and three and a half inches high. Also, on the inside of the front door, just below the hole, you will want to take a router or some tool to cut small strips and notches along that door so the young ducklings can crawl out in the spring when they hatch. Fine wire mesh and hardware cloth is suitable as well. You can staple that in. That's a key component to your wood duck box. Probably the second most key component to that is a predator guard. There's a lot of critters that want to get in that box including snakes so you want to use a PVC pipe, uh, some type of material like a flashing to build what we call a hoop, kind of a skirt type material. Or in this case, you'll see we used an old disc from a garden because we ran out of the metal material that we had. Another tip is to be sure you clean the box out every couple years. That's not critical, but it's helpful. Sometimes there's a buildup of mites in the nest, small insects that will bite and feed on the ducklings, making them weak, and they could uh, die because of this. One, two more tips that we have is time of year. Ducks start looking for nesting grounds right after Christmas. So they've already paired up and they'll start looking in January. So you want to place your boxes out by the end of January if possible. The wood material you use needs to be uh, something pretty hardy. We use eastern red cedar and cypress. And most of the boxes we've had out over 10 years and they still are in great shape. The next few pictures you'll see us placing one of the wood duck boxes on a sturdy mound of dirt out in a wetland area. It doesn't have to be in the water, but should be nearby. Don't choose a rotting tree or log. Try to use a post as we've done here where we've actually taken a T post and driven that into the ground. Some people call those a garden post and that's our base. From that we take a two inch aluminum galvanized pipe and we slide that onto the T post and place a bolt through where we want it to stop. Pretty simple but it works. Lastly you'll see my companion Jesse who enjoys hunting. So another piece to waterfowl management is enjoying the table fare that can come with that. Duck meat is very healthy, it's livery, and it's low in fat. Honoring the waterfowl that you hunt includes uh, making use of it in the proper way and following the game laws. And even taxidermy is a good way to preserve and honor and respect the animal that you've harvested. There are many game laws that protect our waterfowl, including wood ducks. These include having a state conservation hunting stamp per state in the United States, as well as a federal migratory stamp. You also must use non-toxic shot, so no lead shot, for waterfowl as well. So it's pretty complicated if you're going to make that choice. But it's great exercise, it's getting outdoors, 
and I would encourage you to try it if you never have. Okay, from this point, I want to show you from the inside of the box. Uh, I'm going to open up uh, the side here, and hopefully you can see there's some shavings here in the bottom. And on the side where the hole is, right here in the front, where I told you just inside of that, on that front piece, this is where you want to score that or put your mesh wire or hardware cloth for the ducklings to crawl out. We'll zoom in and give you a close look at that, what I've done with this box. And then when you shut the door, you can either put a small hinge on it and a latch and get fancy or just take a eight penny nail, put it in the side and tap it in just to hold that until next year. It won't go anywhere. And so I've laid the box down here on its side and I've got the side flap opened up here. Here's the, the front. Uh, with the entrance hole and just below that hole you see where I took a router and I scored these these strips here about an inch apart for the ducklings to get a grip and, and get out of the box that works hardware cloth or, or wire mesh as I was talking about earlier be sure it's not any jagged edges sticking out you could staple that in here and then of course you know we got some shavings here cedar shavings works pine shavings and you see you might get other critters that are trying to stay in here for the winter like this carpenter bee he's out of place and when you're checking your boxes and cleaning them watch out for stuff like this see that wasp nest so other critters try to get in here we mentioned snakes earlier owls will get in here raccoons possums squirrels so sometimes you need to replace your box or they'll chew the hole and make it you know bigger and uh that's just part of putting something out there that already has a hole in it and a cavity. It's a lot of work to make one of those, so uh, keep check on your boxes. All right, I don't know if you can see this or not, but way in the back corner of this swamp is a wood duck box that's put onto a pole. There it is. You can see it. And notice it's right beside an oak tree that's leaning over the water. And there's another oak you'll see with the leaves still holding on there on the left and right. So there's a good food source. But the key thing is placement of your box. You don't want to put it out just in the wide open. Uh, just think about it. If you were nesting and raising your family, you may not want to necessarily do that out in the middle of a field. You may want some comfort and peace of woods and protection around you uh, for you and your family, for example. And uh, wood ducks want the same thing. So you want to put it back in a corner, maybe where the creek is coming in. The other key thing is to face the box uh, either south or west. And that way when the chicks are hatching, they get that warmth of that sun, particularly in the evening. East is okay, uh, but the warmest direction is going to be south and west. Okay, lastly, turn your volume up. We've got some live footage of wood ducks in the woods courtesy of my good friend and forester, Joel Cathy, from Long Branch Farms. First, we have some newly hatched ducklings that have emerged in early April. And just a couple weeks later, they're growing quickly, but notice there's a few less of them. Hawks, raccoons, bobcats, owls, and even fish will prey on young ducklings. One month old, they're almost ready to fly. As you see, mom and the ducklings have grown and are eating well. The whole family is involved at this point. These ducks are diving for food and practicing their evasive maneuvers from predators. This duck's gonna have to find a new place for a home as this muskrat chases him away and says, you have to go. Thanks for watching 15 Minutes in the Forest, Wood Ducks in the Woods. From Jesse and I, so long till next time. Stay tuned, in a couple weeks, we'll, we'll have another episode of 15 Minutes in the Forest. I think Jesse sees a wood duck. Have a great day.